welcome to Vibe Top 5 on My Color TV. My name is Cherish, and today we're going to talk about five top blockbuster movies that trended in 2019. We'll go into that after this break. And on our number five, we have Merry Men Another Mission. It's a sequel of the real Yoruba demon Merry Men, and it was actually premiered on the 20th of December 2019. It features Jim I, um, Ramzi Noah. It has a good storyline, which was crafted by our one and only Ayo Makon, popularly known as AY. I think the movie is really wonderful. I mean, I was just recovering from the Merry Men, the Yoruba demons, and then here they are with the. Um, another mission. So it was really interesting. It was fun. It was action packed, and then it was comedy and drama. So it was just some points. And then there was romance. So they, they found a way to melange everything. Well, uh, the movie is very, very, very nice. And I think everything about the movie sounds very nice. I mean, it's very many. We all know we've seen a couple of sequels, so I didn't expect anything less. So I think. That is very fascinating, very the story came in quite well. Everything was on point. The cast on point. You know, AY can never go wrong when it comes to movies. And with this movie, mm, we actually killed it. Characters and their roles, everyone fitted into their role. No one was no one was out of place. Everyone just practically made it a rainbow, so it was it was amazing. Everyone was amazing. Their roles were great too. Oh, okay. Well, the characters, ah, they always deliver for any day, any time. Just those a set of guys <laughs> to you know do justice to their roles. So and bit by bit, I think they are gaining their ground in the scene again. So. Um, I want to pay her Basically, I'm ready now. I think they can do better. That's her husband. Yes, because it's a movie that has captivated a lot of people, and we're even looking forward to seeing more and more those sort of layouts. Ay Ramsey, or the Minji Mike, Barbara Baker, everybody came. Here. Everybody came to the movie. Talk about the ladies now, like, and I like the fact that the movie ended. You know, we had we had a lot of uh, action. We there we had uh, love. Like he gave us everything. So I think the actors were doing well. I give them a hand. I have a great tip on seven. Merry men. Wow. I'll give it for this particular thing. Give it. Give it. Merry Men, like I said, AY can never do me wrong, so I'll give Merry Men a 10. It deserves it. Hmm, this file, which of them I mess? It's a trap, guys. It's a trap. A boss. A boss. A boss. Get And on our number four, we have Gold Statue. Gold Statue is a movie that features uh, Gabriel Afolayo and Kunle Remy. It's a very nice storyline as well. It's just like a movie that transcends from the outside world into an enclosed world into the prison gate. It's a very interesting movie that you all need to see. Gold Statue is an interesting movie. Yeah, I, I love the movie. I think they did well with um, the cast as well. I think everybody will put it on Google. If anybody types oh. your name, Rambai Show, Google. Where is Google? Gold Statue. It's. I don't think we've seen that kind of movie. At least we can see. Represented the a huge part of our culture. But you are here. It's a prison. Um, there's some other real things that are happening in the country. So. I, I think it was a better pressure that we to blow everyone. Up the prison so, so get generally, it's a great move. It's a great move. I really, 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 really
well, okay, in the beginning, I didn't really get the whole Don't thing, but towards the end, it became the interesting. I mean, like, what are we looking for those tattoos? But there was drama and the whole prison break thingy it was, it was cool. It was fun. So, yeah. Tattoos, Gabriel, Apollo, um, RMD, Remy. I think then they're, they're all non rules, you know. Nah. Park myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not even a movie. Oh, everybody delivered. Everybody delivered. Me and Gabriel Apollo, and they all, they all very, very, very good. So, um, but there was this twist in the movie that I think when they were supposed to be there, but <laughs> in the end, it made sense. That was when they all. You know, discovered the female part of the prison and all. But in the end, I understood why they did it. So it's balanced, balanced. Everybody feels characters in the rules. I personally love clearing me. Any movie clearing me is straight for me. So it was, it was great. That's clearing me there. Scale of one to ten, I'll give it a seven because of the part of the whole movie. I will keep doing it. The sister says I spent inside the sister. Seven still. Seven. Holy day, I'll shoot you. I've got this gut feeling that we're going to get that massive goal. And on our number three, guys, number three is no other movie than Your Excellency, written and directed by our one and only Poké Akindele Bello, Jennifer. It's a very interesting movie that if you know that you've not seen that movie and 2020 is about coming to an end, just take a chill pill and go see that movie. It's filled with a lot of political satire and a lot of comedy as well. Um, Your Excellency, now this is... I think they had that kind of story that we have all seen and heard before. I mean, those kind of common um, But I, I get what they were trying to do, what they were trying to portray. But personally, I don't think they delivered on it properly. I mean, the style of the whole movie, but I, for me, it wasn't too engaging. Yet it wasn't too intriguing as it should have been, or I thought it would be. So, yeah, well, but they tried. They did well. They did well. It's a great movie. Your Excellency was excellent. I mean, the movie was really interesting. I love movies. I have a lesson behind it, and it was it was great. And in fact, in Delhi, I mean, she's awesome. She always brings in good content. So, um, Your Excellency, mm, I'm not a hater. I think. I think uh, that movie was totally a waste of time. Like, how do you gather all those cast and at the end of the day, you're giving us a random drama and a random story we know? You understand? I didn't steal the movie, I felt like I was going to turn this country to Characters and their roles. Oh, well, the characters, the play game, the good. But I think. We should have done that and selecting that character. I mean, it's a familiar story to me. So I think they would have done more in the sense of putting the characters. I mean, I think people that play the role are very, very, very more engaging. Characters and their roles. First of all, there are so many characters. I mean, Faz. Why was Faz in that movie? We just shot a shot in an airplane and that was it. So there are many characters. There's too much. But I said that it was interesting. They did well. Too many characters, too many roles played very, very awkwardly. I don't like the movie. I'll just call it five. I don't like it. But it did well. It did well. I'll give it a six. One to ten because of the characters, because of the effort. I'll give it a three. We can't possibly have such a joker as our next president. You are fire. Our girlfriend, you look fire. You are fire, you are fire, you are fire. And 
on our number two, we have the movie The Setup. I'm so happy because you know it features my girl. I just why it's on alongside yeah. Kenny Bankole. It's a very interesting storyline, and it also has Jim Ike in it. The storyline is Two one that you can actually reckon with. Oh, it's filled with thrill yeah, and suspense. So one it's a movie you would enjoy eating your popcorn and watching at the same time. It's a very nice movie. He leaves everything. Um, the movie was really interesting, and I mean, I just saw it to me in any movie is like an icing on the cake. So it was great. What is this? Everything place? was great. The storyline, the character, everything was, was just on point. is Number two, set up. I think it deserved to be a number two first of all, it's and I'll give it to Abishua and Rikijima because they gave us a twist, oh, like roller coaster, like. I don't know how to explain. I started watching the movie, I was confused. Then that's a risky strategy. At some point, I started getting it. I started seeing the twist, you know. And finally, I saw a this You set up. Ha, I'm a down. And his wife. He's always doing. He's always doing her thing. That was gonna happen. But I I think the movie had that too much confusion. I think at the point we were trying to do so many things. We were trying to add so many stories in between. So it got confusing at some point. But I followed the story very well. I think in the end they delivered the problem. I would say the characters we are telling fit into the roles, they played it out very nicely, like it just came out naturally and that's come on Chike, is this the life you want? Yes. I think I I just work here then. Uh came the back on the did well. Great. G Mike so much. Excellent. The cast, whoever casted those guys for really, that particular movie. <laughs> Mom, I, need I will to do give whatever you it call. takes uh, to make such a character in the way, you know? I think God did really well. Like I love G Mike. He's always like my guy in the movie. Like, 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 so he did well, and everybody else did their thing. But I think, I think um, the girl that played um, this was in teammates. There were some instances that what, are you what am I playing now? What are you playing now? <laughs> things she did wrong to me. We had a plan. But generally, I changed the plan. Everybody else. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it to 8. Scale of 1 to 10, I'll give set up a. I'll give it a 9. Come on, Chike, is this the nine. life you want to live? Um, set up 1 to 10. Why does this bother seven. you so much? Why does it not it's bother seven. you at all? <laughs> Mom, I will do whatever it takes to make it bright. And on our number one, guys, <sighs> let me breathe. I know you wouldn't be guessing the movie right now, but let me tell you what the movie is. Number one, we have no other movie than Living in Bondage, so Record so Free. I don't know, it's just giving me this nostalgic feeling right now. Okay. We're getting old. You know, the first one is actually done in 1998. So coming to 2019 and watching Living in Bondage, Breaking Free, it's actually a good one. I think that practically made my 2019 so it's a very interesting movie like that if you've not seen you're in nigeria you're in the eastern part of nigeria even outside of nigeria you've not seen merry men i don't know what you are doing in this life so before the end of 2020 do all to see breaking free living in bondage living in bondage bc for ah uh, i think it's an amazing movie i feel like it deserves to be a number one i think uh I think uh, Yang Zi brings in um, Swan Ki to be the mega character out of nowhere for something other producers, other directors should actually, you know, emulate that. He brought into a limelight and Swan Ki even in Bondage, free. The movie was really amazing. I mean, I went to premiere the movie. I was, I was, I was kind of impressed. This is called group. Perfect. The Brotherhood of the Six have been involved in countless. 
Uh, okay. First of all, it's a remake, so that's like okay. They will probably do the same thing, and then what do you have to do with all these but, killings? Um, seeing that movie, I discovered that they you? weren't really trying to address us in terms of the story. If we go down, they were just doing something around shooting, the lighting, everything else. So they were just playing you around. Grave the danger. And a minute. Thank you, Denise. Nice Cats, Swanky, uh, Ramsey, and the lady, the lady that played the role, the supporting power. I think they were Muna, I think that's yes. her name. I think they killed it. I think uh, okay. Kenneth Okonkwo was on point. Everybody was on point. And I like the whole Eastern vibe. I like the whole music. The way the. I just like the movie. Ah! and the road, thank you, what have you done? Everybody was like, it was, it was mind-blowing, excellent, everybody delivered perfectly. It was, it was Are you ready to get your key? <laughs> okay, you'd be surprised to hear this, but I was only impressed oh, yeah. so with much Kenneth and Kinko. Nina. I too? Nina. Okay. Growing but up. I just think she always had that. Supporting you character. You are never really where you're meant to be. You know, charisma, so. Or justice. Do you need to ask me? We don't have a slam. Tell me about ten, my nigga. Come on now. <laughs> I wish I was an 11 because that would be amazing. But we just give it 10 to the highest number. 11? <laughs> Living in bondage. Wow. A lot of things to consider. So I'll go. Thank you, Kitty. I'll just give it a six. <laughs> you will surprise to hear this, bro. That's my honest opinion. <laughs> That's like my honest. All these killings, Mr. Zion. Why is he after you and your son? If we go down, you go down. You are in grave danger. At a minute, they start to inch close. I snap their necks. When you take, you give. It's the order of things. This is no f***ing game. Clock is ticking. Tick. Tuck. Tick. Tuck. What have you done? Nothing! Are you ready to get your key? <laughs> what key, sir? Key to the good life. I'm sure you all had fun because I did. And that's it on this week's Vibes of Five on My Color TV. Do well to send your comments in on our comment section to tell us uh, how you feel about the reviews at the top five blockbuster movies that was discussed today. Do well to also follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, we are My Color TV. Let's give your life a living color. And that's it. See you guys meeting next week. My name is Cherish. Have a nice week. My Color TV. Life in Living Color.